we're gonna be on Zeri's account. Not really a review, just me trying to help him, so kind of a review. Um, alright, uh, let's go ahead and do what I'm actually here for, uh, which is to, uh, um, help him with his characters and his MOC and all that stuff. You probably don't qualify as a returning player, because, well, you've been playing the game. That is usually the scenario that they're looking at. Alright, um, so I'm here to actually help with his characters. So let's see what we got here. Acheron. Acheron. T.O.T. So you actually have two options here for this team, by the way. You can use you can use Gallagher or you can use Japard. Because Japard also technically puts a dot on the enemy from his skill. Because his skill, which can freeze the enemy, will actually count for stacking Acheron's um, passive for her ultimate. So you actually, if you're if you're if you're running like like an ice team more focus, you can actually use Japard. And yes, I'm getting there. <laughs> And with Japard, you can also then switch him if you have it. She, he does not have it. Okay, you do not have uh, the burn light cone, which is unfortunate. No, you don't have the burn light cone, which is fine. Um, if you ever get it, it actually ends up being more. Uh, Japard would actually work better in this team for that purpose. I would actually probably go with this instead. And then... Yeah. Another scenario there, if you don't want to use Japard, is you can actually use the Blazer as well, because their taunt also acts as a um, uh, as another a debuff on the target. So that's another option. So generally speaking with Acheron, you're going to want to lean toward more preservation characters than healing characters. Galagar is the exception in this scenario because, well, he's got um, um, he's got the, the debuff on his ultimate. I don't have the market like him. That's fine. Just understand that both Japard and Blazer both put debuffs on the target even without market light cone, right? The taunt from the blazer counts as a debuff on the target. The freeze from uh, Japard's uh, skill counts as a debuff on the target. If you ever get the market light cone, that means they can put up two debuffs from two different sources, which means it stacks twice. So it stacks twice as fast, basically. And it stacks even faster because of the fact that it's all based on when they're hit. Um, the market light cone is like absolutely busted for, for that purposes. So if you ever see it on a banner and it's a banner you actually want to pull on, maybe try getting it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so for the time, for the time being, you also have sparkle. So here's the thing here's here. I'm going to test out both of these, but I promise you won't be bored with me. Can you say the same? I think we're going to go with the idea of using Japard. You did just get him to E1, intel, which means he'll actually get his skill off. His debuff, his debuff from his skill off more often. And we'll go with Galagar over here for the dot team. 
because he could also break. Right? Because doesn't he scale on break effect anyways? Right? Doesn't his healing somehow scale off break effect? Yeah. So his healing scales off break effect anyway. So his burn dot that he will apply when he breaks the target, if he breaks the target, will actually be quite high in damage, which will allow Kafka to do more damage, right? Which he procs that burn. Asta herself also applies um, a burn with her basic attacks and uh, her breaks as well from her basic attack trace here, right? So you could also use... There's another scenario where you use Osto over here instead of Sparkle if you wanted to, just as, a, as an example. Now, your Acheron is E0, right? Yeah, your Acheron is E0. So, generally speaking, you're going to want two Nihilities. But I'm going to test out your Sparkle. Your Sparkle is not built here. Okay, your Sparkle needs work still. Never mind. That's not going to work. Never mind. Scratch that. That's a bad idea at the moment. Back to Weld. You do not have Gwen Ifen, so you don't have the other option. You could technically also use Black Swan. Your call. Because she is a Nihility character, right? Like, this is a possible team. This time. It brings more defense down. He dumped everything I had on Akron. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, it brings more defense down. Um... So it's also a possibility, but in the in the interest of trying to create two sort of teams to try to get some MOC progress in and some pure fiction progress in, this is probably your these are probably your two best teams right now in terms of characters to work on. I was thinking she could carry me until I get all my other characters built. She can, she can, she can, she absolutely can. There's literally no reason why that wouldn't be the case. Honestly, though, this team also could carry you until you have built them. The the, the, the biggest issue right now is you just came back to the game, right? Um, and so you've got limited amounts of resources. Damn, we got a lot of relic experience. This, this is good. This is good. This is, this is good. Okay. Oh, yeah, you've been nonstop farming for just her. Okay. Yeah, the biggest issue early is sustain. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, right now, to be 100% clear, your Acheron is done unless you want to run speed boots on her, which I would recommend that you do run speed boots on her. Do you have any speed boots? Trying to get to 65, yeah. Yeah, I know. Understandable. Understandable. You don't have any speed boots on set. Okay. It is literally the only place you have farmed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, because it's the only place you have farmed for the time being, what you're going to want to do for your other characters, you wait until TB60. No, that's that's totally fine. That is what you're supposed to do. That is what you're supposed to do, generally speaking. And then use whatever relics you get to just sort of build out sets and stuff along those lines. Also, make sure you lock your pieces so you don't accidentally lose them. Oh, that has literally been the only lightning damage piece you've gotten. That's crazy. Okay. Either way, your Acheron for the time being, you could stop farming for Acheron. I would I would stop farming for your Acheron and start farming for other characters. Um, Welt as an example here, though. Could be put on this set if you had an imaginary piece. I can teams were too weak. Simulate the universe. 
Simulating bears is, is should not be that difficult to farm. Die to the boss, not from damage, but the effect that takes these characters away at tier 4. Fair enough. Honestly, at the point you're at, asking for speed is too much. So it is better, you are better off just foregoing it altogether and just kind of wing, winging it, basically. This is actually really good for Welt if you're not going to running speed. Um, I would not, I would actually not get rid of this, by the way. I did recently scrap some to try to mold. I want to try to mold a piece of okay with that like speed boost for Akon or something. Um with E0, yeah, you might actually that might actually be worth it. Um as you can see I've switched Welt to the debuff set because the debuff set actually is his best set as well. Um so that's something to consider as well. Like this piece is actually really good. Um I see why you have them swapped because you wanted the attack percent. On um on Acheron, right? Three thousand two hundred attack is good. Like you're not gonna I'm not gonna change anything on Acheron right now. Changing things on Welt because uh, of what he could use. Um And Welt also wants effect hit rate as well. So this brings him up to twenty two effect hit rate. We've got him on his light cone, which is not bad. You've not done bad with your light cones. Oh, would you also have good night's sleep well? You can level up your if you want? Okay. Primary thing. What is this? Okay, do not get rid of this. Lock that. These can go, but not like this. You are, and I want them to. Uh... Let's go to salvage real quick. Like, look, to be perfectly honest with you, you're not going to waste your time with anything that is three star and below. You're not going to waste your time with anything that's three star and below. You can just turn that into materials. For you, however, you may actually use some of these purples. There's a there's a there's a small chance that you could actually use some of these purples. But let's see what we get here. That's fine. That's good. Last roll. Okay. That is unfortunate that it went on to HP. However, the crit rate and effect rate are two stats that you need. So that's fine. Plus the, the flat attack, obviously. And then there were no speed boots. Thinking about making some for her. None of these had any kind of damage in your direction. You get more out of this two piece than you would out of anything else at the moment. Did you have any, are there any ER ropes? There is one, perfect. Switch to the ER rope. That's actually perfect, okay. So you can get welts ultimate a little bit more often. This is actually worth leveling. All energy recharge ropes are leveling. It doesn't, substats do not matter on ER ropes. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. 
If you get good substats on an ER rope, awesome. Otherwise, just, just get the ER rope. Does not matter. Honestly, it's fine. He'll be kind of tanky. All right, I'm good with that for now. This brings him up to 3,000 HP. 53. Okay, let's look at Let's look at Pella real quick. So, um, since speed is kind of out the door at the moment for you, because you just don't have the relics that have the speed, Pella is here for survival purposes. You don't have the messenger set, so there's no point in that. Oh, you do have a couple pieces of messenger. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe getting Pella on messenger could work. Maybe getting Pella on messenger could work. It's a two piece. That would be a two piece. Effective rate. Just started to farm. Yep, no problems. It's all good. Like I said, we're just we're just looking at things that are possibilities right now. And this is why I say, ooh, you have one on this set too. Two-piece messenger would actually do pretty good for you, but the debuff set would also not be bad. And you have the speed boots, messenger. Then you want two-piece defensive sets, unfortunately, at that point. Actually, this is a fact right on. This is actually pretty good. This is, okay, you know what? Actually, this is fine. Two-piece, two-piece for her on this is fine. Because there's nothing... Ooh, that's kind of better. That's nice. You still have a nice glove to go with it. Because that glove is just real nice. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be... Uh, 19 speed... Takes you on the messenger. That makes her a little bit faster. It'll make her a little bit faster. What do you have here? You need an energy recharge rope. What do you got? Oh, wow, you have wow, you have four of these ropes. Okay, lock all of these. Lock all these. This is what's gonna get you winning in pure fiction later on, I'll tell you that right now. And sometimes sets don't even matter. Substats are kind of like the more here's the other thing too. Sets. Sets also don't matter as much when you're just looking for raw stats, right? So that's what we're looking for at the moment. If you can get a set, cool. Otherwise, not a big deal. Go for defensive stats. We want speed boots here. We want them fast as well. We'll go here with that because getting the two piece for this is, is kind of important kind of important dark sniper rate effect here rate for this we want substats of effect here rate because you want to make sure that your goal right now is to ensure that everything hits its mark Take that from Austin for now. All right? Yeah, that works. Energy recharge rope. Yes, I'm cutting into your resources, and I apologize for that. But this is this is kind of important for these characters if you want to use them. And Pella is never a bad investment. This is actually rolling really well. For the most part, that rolled pretty well, getting the effect res and uh, effect hit rate. Because Pella requires, let me look at Pella, Pella's requirements one more time for effect hit rate. Sixty-seven ER. She has thirty-two. 
This includes her bonus. Remember, she also gets 10% from here. So she actually only needs 50 in stats. She needs 50, she needs 67 total, so 57 in stats. And you want her to be able to survive, which is why you run like an HP orb on her generally. She's because Pella is not there for damage. She is there to survive and put up debuffs. Right? Cyclone. Cyclone is S1. Do you have any super resilience? No. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. What I don't want is she? E6. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah. We're good then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the relics. Okay. Um, so we're going to level up this. Good. I'm going to kind of go like half measures on some of these. 12. That's fine. That should give her a solid amount of HP to survive. Also remember to lock your uh, relics, please. 3,000 HP, that's good. 3,000 HP is like your minimums for every character that you want in order for them to like survive through most things long enough for a sustain to keep them alive, right? 3,000 HP is like your min your bare minimum HP that marker that you want on every character. Otherwise, they're probably just gonna die. I understand. In most scenarios. Okay, these are not rolling great, but that's fine. Maybe we'll get we gotta hope these hit effect hit rate at least once or twice. Defense percent is fine as well because minimum you also want about a thousand defense percent, a uh, thousand, a thousand defense on every character. It never touched effect hit rate. That's unfortunate, but that's a lot of defense percent. That might bring her up to there. You go, thousand defense, and 136 speed. This is now a fairly decent Pella. Um, at a hundred, at 36 effect hit rate, means we need to level this up at least a little bit. All right. The hope here is that it rolls like attack percent or crit damage or something along those lines, which would be nice. But HP is not bad either. That may be all we have to do for levels. 58. There. Damn. Okay. So your Pella is done. Your Pella is done. You don't you don't have to do anything else to Pella right now outside of refining what you have, leveling this up to give her more HP, etc. And if you get enough effect hit rate in your substats, you can change this to either defense percent or HP percent in order to keep her alive longer, right? So Pella, done. You have over 3,000 HP. You've got a little over 1,000 defense. You've got 136 speed, so she's probably going first. Um, and you have 58... Um, you have 58 effect hit rate, which with her trace from this, which gives everybody an additional 10% effect hit rate, means she's going to have 68, which means she has just enough to make sure that she... Her ultimate... Will always, um, will always like hit any target basically, for that forty percent defense down, because you've maxed out her traces here, which I is good. Understand. Yeah, very good. Yes, I cut my hair. <sighs> um. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, she actually has 6% more effect hit rate in here. So at that point, once you get this, this trace, um, and maybe another roll here or here, you probably won't even need this chest piece. But you basically need roughly about 67% effect hit rate. You only need 57 on her because she has a trace that gives 10%. Never forget that. Never forget that she has a trace that gives her an additional 10%. So... And it's not reflected here until you're in battle. So. And then it, with her being E6, you, uh, yeah. She'll get an additional speed if she removes a debuff when the enemy is defeated. She has energy, yeah. Yeah. So that'll help a lot. And then Welt and his situation will also help a lot. Welt needs roughly 40, 40 to 50 Probably 50 effect hit rate is what you really want. Um, and he has none in his traces. But since you're pairing it up with Pello, remember he's also getting an additional 10% effect hit rate. 
right? This is where this this is where this team actually comes really together. This means you actually have 33, right? So you really only need like 20 more, right? If that's what you're going for at that point, which means you know, this rolled pretty decently. So I do farm. Here's the thing. While you're farming for Acheron, you're farming for Welt. That's the biggest thing. When you're farming for a character, look at what other characters benefit from that relic or the other relics in that, um, in that uh, uh, cavern, right? So that you know where to put those those items on other characters. Like as an example, the break effect set that you have here on Sparkle is not very good for Sparkle. However, it's going to be in my dreams pretty good for um, Harmony Blazer or Harmony Trailblazer when they come out, right? Like that's sort of something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, it's also not bad for. I don't think it's that bad for Gallagher either. I'm not sure. And the wearer uses their ultimate on an ally, so no, it's actually not great for Gallagher either. Because he doesn't use his ultimate on an ally. Um, it would be okay for Jabard because technically he uses his ultimate on allies. So, Hello. Well, thank you for the follow. Uh, okay. Okay, to you. Yep. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. So she's done. He is effectively done at the moment. Other than like traces, right? Because we just changed out all this stuff. Um, we gave him this attack percent one. Here, you could technically make these better, um, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm going, I'm going character by character at the moment as I go through. So, Japard wants this set. That's like, it's literally the only set that really works for him. Um, there really isn't another option for Japard. Like, you can run two piece. Like, the best would probably be two piece, right? Two piece of this and two piece messenger. A lot of characters like a, a set of two piece and then a two piece of another set, right? But here's the biggest thing. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't really. It doesn't really. Again, sets stats before sets is the best way I can put it. Again, right? So if you can get good defensive stats on him before you have a set, that's fine as well. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave him how he is because he's actually just fine. He's a little slow, but he has just under three k HP at the moment. Um, maybe I can get something better with this. Let's see here. Like, effect res on him would be nice. So, this piece right here is probably the best. Even if, like, ignoring, ignoring sets. You just don't give a shit about the set. You do not give a shit about the set. And then another, a re one of these other ER ropes would be really good too. So an ER rope with maybe some defense percent, even effect hit rate on HP and defense. Ooh, that's pretty good. This is pretty good, and this is pretty good. This gives them more defensive stats. Let's go with that. Speed doesn't really matter at the moment. Again, this is another ER rope. You'll be you'll be amazed just how much of a difference having. Um, please stop rolling flat attack. <laughs> this is rolling terribly. Thank you. Okay, Thanos. Oh no, I didn't. The fifteen. Hey, that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. You you want that on him. That's pretty good. And this has the defense percent. Roll the flat defense, it's actually fine. You wanted to roll the effect res on this. Or the flat defense, at, at bare minimum. That's unfortunate. Locked. Defense, defense, defense. Cool. This brings him up to. He lost some HP. He needs it. definitely needs more HP. What do you got him on the chest piece here? Defense percent here as well. Okay. Which actually means an HP percent or might have been better. He's a little low on HP. Let me see here. It says defense percent and crit stats, but that's kind of like whatever. She has the other HP one. There's effect res and defense percent here. Flat defense doesn't matter. Set doesn't really matter. Defense percent. Uh, defense percent effect res. Is actually a little bit better. And, but you kind of want one of each at the moment, so we'll go with that. We'll take this to like 9 or 12 or something and call it there. 
Effector is good. You don't want him to get crowd controlled. Break effect is not great. Effector is good. I'll take it all away. And then it rolled attack. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay. However, this brings him up to perfect. So 3,500 HP and 2,500 uh, defense. So he can actually survive a hit, and then his shield will be decent in size. And then with 33 effect res, he won't get crowd control as much. You definitely want to grab these other effect res traces when you get a chance. Frankly, um, one of the biggest things I can tell you is stop leveling basic attacks on characters that you don't use their basic attack, like, effectively. Like, tanks and healers, you do not need to level up their basic attack at all. It'll save you a ton of resources. Because even though they attack with it, they're not doing damage. They're not there for damage. So there's literally no point. Other than Galagar, I think, because technically his does an enhanced thing, but it doesn't really matter. Again, they're not there for damage. Um, you do want to level his... Um, you mostly want to level his ultimate. His skill doesn't really matter. His passive does matter in terms of, like, if he dies, he comes back up with more HP. You want him to come back up with more HP if he does die, so it is worth it. And his ultimate is, like, the biggest thing. You want to get this as high as possible within reason. Note, most characters will be just fine at level 8 trace. You do not need to level every character to level 10 trace. It costs way too many resources. Even if you're a whale, it's a lot of resources. You're better off, once you have a level 8 trace, to turn to something else. Or if you are going to take a trace to level 10, pick like one, like their key trace. Like I, I see you did everything for Acheron. All of the basic attack on this was kind of a waste um, of resources, but it's fine. She will occasionally basic attack, so it's fine. Um, but all three of these at level 10 is totally fine as well because she's like your big carry. Your big carries, taking them all to 10 and like going for the vanity of getting their basic attack is fine. But like, especially with four stars where you have Eidolons, you only have to take it to eight because it'll go to 10 automatically, right? Um, Welt, you take them to eight and that's it. Japard, you take him possibly to eight or maybe this all the way or just the ultimate all the way to 10, right? Um, he has no effect hit rate currently in his kit um with his e1 this is a 100 percent base chance she'll get the 10 percent from this uh i think in order for his skill to hit guaranteed uh you need roughly like 60 with e1 so that's a lot so you, you really just have to kind of keep an eye out uh, for effect hit rate in uh, in sub stats So yeah, that's that's basically that. So Japard, relic-wise, this set is fine. Keep farming that set eventually. If you want more of it, you can farm more of it, right? It's very good. The other set, um, the other set that comes in that, unfortunately, the problem with that that domain is that the lightning set is here, and this set is kind of like 100% obsolete at this point. This set has been power crept so hard by other sets and characters that would use this set. Like, as an example, Acheron does not want this set. Kafka does not want this set, right? Like, unfortunately, while it's a perfectly fine and serviceable set, it's outclassed so much by the newer sets in the game. <laughs> right? Let's see here. So for both Kafka and Black Swan, you want the dot set. You want the set that's in this area you're in right now. You want this set right here. Full four-piece set, if you can. Because it's super good for them. Defense Ignore is so, so good. So good. When you get Jing Liu, you're going to want this set on her. Or the ice uh the ice set on her either or works just fine quantum just has more variance because the enemy has to have quantum on them in order to get the full advantage of uh of this but still 10 percent of defense ignore is still really good especially if you end up with the light code and then this set will actually work on japard as well so when you're farming for jing liu you can actually run a two piece of this and a two piece of the defense set um or you can run a four piece of this they will both they will all work out just fine 
when you start farming the messenger set, when you start farming the messenger set because you want the two piece of this um, or the four piece, this is the set you want for Sparkle, by the way. Um, you can then turn around and take the two piece from this and put it on Japard or your other tanky characters or even your support characters who want a little bit more HP, right? So this is something to keep in mind of what are the two piece bonuses of sets, not so much always the four piece bonus. There are like your DPS characters generally will want four piece full set bonuses in order to pull out the most damage they possibly can. Your supports and your tanks will oftentimes want either a, either the two piece of various different types of sets or the four piece of the messenger set. That's literally like, that is the difference of characters. Like, as an example, you could technically run a four piece of this on your part because his ultimate does affect allies, right? He does use his ultimate on allies. So technically even characters like Depart could uh, use messengers traveling set or even the break effect set um, that comes with this set. So just something to keep in mind is like, is you don't always have to run the 1% one, 1 optimal build on a character in order for them to be effective and for you to be able to clear content um, effectively. So yeah, Sparkle, you're going to want the Messenger set. Uh, Gallagher scales on break effects. You want as much break effect as possible on him. You've already got him on a four-piece break effect set, so that's fine. Um... Your dot characters, like I said, you want you're gonna want the um, the the deep set, the deep the the deep diver set, or not the deep diver, the uh, the prisoner set. I try to follow Pr uh, Pride One to a T. That's fine. A lot of like my a lot of my advice does come from referencing their documents and things along those lines, especially when it comes to specific stat points, like the effect hit rate stat points. So that is something to look into. All right, I that's fine. Yeah, you can't always get perfect sets. That's the problem with following. That is the biggest problem with following sites like Pride Win to a T is that you will not get the exact perfect set that they that they are telling you is going to be the most optimal. More often than not, you will get like the third or f the fourth or third best set for them um, optimally. And there's even scenarios where you won't get any sets because again, sub stats over sets, stats over sets. Um, stats are not, sets are nice. Two pieces, like, I like to go for happy middle ground. If I can at least get two piece, two piece sets on characters, you know, get like raw stat bonuses, I think it's sometimes better than the universal effects of four set bonuses. With the caveat being that any of the four set bonuses that are like speed increase or defense down. So messenger and uh, prisoner set. And honestly, the new set, this new set is also, four piece is also really, really, really good as well. So. That's a thing there as well. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, now that I'm done going over the characters, um, like I've already explained before that traces, like these nodes, these trace nodes are so important. They're, they're more important than taking your skills past six because these are raw stats, right? Keep this, Always keep this in mind. This is for anybody watching this now or later. Trace node stats are so much more important than your level seven and eight skill. And the reason being is this is three rolls of effect hit rate on a relic. This is a, a couple of levels on a wind element orb, right? This is two rolls or two rolls of attack percent on a relic. This again, more more on a relic. Two more rolls, two almost three rolls on a relic, right? So the the side stats are very very important. So for my dot team like Black Swan and Kafka, I don't level up basic attack. Um, no. No, you do not level. Kafka does not need her basic attack at all. Black Swan does not need her basic attack at all. Though her basic attack can trigger her dots, it really does not matter. It can it can stack Arcana, which means you can get the percentage up, which is fine. Like I think Black Swan makes a better argument for leveling her basic attack than Kafka does. Kafka's basic attack literally does nothing. It just, it, it, it's, it's just a basic attack. Whereas at least Black Swans has a chance of stacking her Arcana. So that's kind of important. Most important trace on Black Swan is actually her talent for the Arcana, the Arcana stacks. This is actually her most, her, this, this one is the most important. This is fine. This is what you want to level as well. But this is the most important. You want to level, every, basically you want to level everything on her, more or less. And then for Kafka, 
you want to level her ultimate, you want to level her skill, which you already did. I mean, you want to level her, her talent. Get these last traces. Kafka, by the way, when it comes to effect hit rate, only requires like 28. Only to 8, yes. You can take it to 10. If you want to spend the resources, you can take them to 10. But it's unnecessary. Uh, she requires about uh, 28 effect hit rate, which you should be able to get. Like, once you get this trace, that's another 8% on what she has right now. I mean, she's at 23, which means in her relics, you will need like 5% effect hit rate depending on your build, right? You're getting 2% from here. 3%, you're getting 5% from here. So you'll need like 10% in your traces, in your in your relics to get her effect hit rate properly, right? It's like, it's not even, it's really not even that much. Uh, Fermata is actually a perfectly fine light cone for her. It's Showtime is a perfectly fine light cone for her. Um, Dance, Dance, Dance is fine on Asta. My recommendation though, Um, my recommendation for Asta is actually to take one of these light cones, take one of these, lock it, superimpose it to five, and level it. That's my, that is my recommendation for Asta. Because while Dance 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 is very good, um, and right now for you, given your speed tunings and stuff along those lines, um, since you're not really using speed, having the action of S forward is nice, but this will allow her to get more energy to keep her ultimate up more often. So I don't know what your eidolons are. Yeah, you don't have E4, so you definitely want you definitely want to probably use uh, meshing cogs. Meshing cogs is like the one three star, one of two three star light cones that are super super good for various characters. The other one being the one you have on Galagar, which is multiplication because it also action advances forward. Um. Yeah. 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 Characters that you might want to consider investing in in the future: Asta and Tingyun. Asta and Tingyun. Outside of that, once you get Jing Liu. I'm not gonna lie, once you get Jing Liu, you probably only have to invest in like the characters you've already invested in, including Herta. Like, you don't need anybody ever past this point other than like possibly Lotra, obviously, for another healer. Um, in fact, I would recommend that. Um, but, yeah. In fact, I would highly recommend because you only have Japard right now and Gallagher. Yeah. Japard and Gallagher are fine as solo sustains. Locha is a good solo sustain. So you could basically swap around between the three of them. And, um, yeah. Yeah. If I get Jing Leo, yes. Let's pretend that uh, let's pretend that Herta is Jing Liu. <laughs> that team would be very easily. And then whatever sustain you want, preferably Locha. You're gonna want to you're gonna want a healer. Herta, <laughs> Jong Liu, yeah. Like, honestly, this isn't even a bad Herta team. I'm not going to lie. This is not even a bad Herta team. Just saying. But, yeah. This will be your Jing Liu team if... Uh, um, yes, she takes health when using skills, so generally you want to heal her with her. And Locha comes to help her sustain help everybody sustain uh, through that quite easily. I think Gallagher will be able to do it too, but Locha is the more guaranteed 
option that you have on your account now since you did pull for him you might as well get full advantage of that you're gonna find out that Pella pretty much is universal as a character that you can throw anywhere <laughs> you're gonna find that sparkle is as well in that scenario by the way so in this scenario uh, where you're doing this you're gonna be running um, you're going to be probably running either a slow sparkle, as in like a sparkle that's one speed slower than Jing Liu, or you'll be running an attack boots, um, attack boots Jing Liu with a super hyper fast sparkle at like 150, 160 speed. So it all depends on what you can do with your relics, what you have, which is again all up in the air. And remember, that's mostly for MOC purposes, 134 to that 160 marker. Outside of MOC and everywhere else, you only need about like 121 speed to be like on the good, safe, comfortable side um, kind of situation. So, all right. Um, I need to get more water. Give me a second. My throat's... So, judging by what you have in your account right now, um, I, I do think MOC is going to be very difficult for you until you get more uh, more relics, which is where I would, at this point, I would... Honestly, this might be a lot to ask. Probably use Gallagher right now. It's safer. It's a safer option. Let's 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 go look at something. Let's look at something. Level rewards. Okay, level rewards. Who should I prioritize? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Do you want to entering the Forgotten Hall? Okay. <laughs> Let's find out who you should prioritize. By also playing the game. I'll be taking point. Make a wish. Watch yourself. Just in time. I want to see how these teams are running right now, as is. You show an optimal combo for Akron to max damage, I would. What 
do you want to know? Uh? Nice, like a good word, my friend. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. In the mood for another beating? Time to mix things up. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> Stand still. See how much damage he does with the break, though? It's good. It's good. This team is very, the dot team is one of the strongest teams in the game. Like something to understand about the dot team in particular, Kafka and, um, and black Swan between the two of them can kill pretty much anything in the game without any effort whatsoever. The comp, the combination like dot is actually, in my opinion, this is just my, this is just my opinion right now. And feel free to disagree with me. Anybody else dot is the strongest team in the game right now. Period. If you have the right characters, like if you have, you don't, but if you have Kafka, Black Swan, Ron May, and doesn't matter what the healer is, doesn't matter, but Ho Ho being the best in the scenario, they will literally kill anything in the game without without you even trying. Like it's, it is super easy. Yeah, you don't need crit. Um, you just want attack percent. For Kafka, you just want attack percent. Attack percent and speed. Attack percent and speed. Attack percent, speed, maybe some effect res. Um, and that's it. And you you get the, the prisoner set. Yeah, they're really easy to build too. And then for Black Swan, you want attack percent, speed, and effect hit rate. Because she does more damage based on more effect hit rate she has up to 120%, right? So they are super easy to build. Like just super easy to build. And it doesn't matter what support you bring with them. You bring, you bring, so the reason you bring Asta is because Asta can apply a burn dot that Kafka can then trigger. And then the speed buff that she gives also gives them, you know, gets them, gets Kafka to trigger more often and gets more defense down out of Black Swan, etc. And then whatever support you have is just there to keep them all alive so they can just do tons of damage. It really doesn't matter what support you bring at that point as long as it's something that'll keep them all alive. Now Gallagher is good for that in the context that he brings some healing when they do damage. And then also um, he brings a debuff uh, that lowers the enemy attack. And then he also... Uh, uh, brings a, a, a burn break, which will also proc a lot of damage for her, right? So these are these are some of the things to like think about team synergies, right? And they're the easiest team to build. Like honestly, I understand that you've invested a lot in Akron, and I and I don't think that's a bad idea. But if you turn around and invest a ton into your dot team, you will have no problem clearing anything in the game. Uh, and I will show you that when we get to when I do your when I when I test out in Simulated Universe. So it's hard. Stay. This, and we're actually going to start out with Pella. Because Pella's technique does defense down uh, when it first procs. So. Um, we're going to go with his here. We're going to go with his skill. And then we're going to do hers. And we're gonna we're gonna hold on her ult until we get Pella's ultimate up. That's what we're gonna hold off on. And we're gonna basic attack this dude. And we're gonna basic attack on Pella. D 
do you even want the three stacks uh, for Akron? It just uh, so nine zero six three 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 etc. Time to make a decision. Huh? I'm confused. I don't understand that. I don't understand what you're trying to say. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I was not going to do it. So, um, something to keep in mind with Akron is every time a debuff is applied, she gets a stack, right? She can overstack by three. There's not an enemy on the field that has an amount of stacks that's divisible by three. Something along those lines. I, I understand what you're saying. I've never really, really thought about that. Um, but I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. You don't want what I, what you have right here, eight and one. You'd rather have someone with nine. That's kind of your your goal there. If you want someone with nine or or three, 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 or six and three, right? That's that's basically what he's saying. I've never my personally have never even paid attention to that. Like I've just not tried to control it. But yes, that is probably the more uh, optimal way of going about it. But remember that she hits everybody, so as one character dies, that one will go over to him. So it doesn't really so it doesn't really matter like about where the split is because it'll all land on one target eventually, as I guess is the best way. We've hardly uh, any time. Because it always goes it always seems to go to the target with the most when they die. Yeah, well, that's good damage. That was good. Wipe them out of one. You get your party shield up. Never um, so because of Pella, remember, because of Pella's effect hit rate right now, she also has the debuff from her light cone, which also gives a stack. And you have welts. And you have welts ultimate, which will also give a stack. And then you have her light cone, so this should give her two stacks. Yep. And then Japard's skill, if it freezes, will also give a stack. Bam. And we don't have Hell's ult, so I kind of cast this a little early. So let's see what the damage looks like in this scenario. Even more damage. Well, because there's more targets, but yes. That. We do his. We do her ultimate. Again, two more stacks. It gives him one stack. I mean, he's probably gonna die here, so it doesn't matter. There you go. There you go. There's MOC one cleared in five cycles with these two teams. I honestly, so I think some part of it is the ability to pilot the teams to know what you're doing. And the, so I'm not trying to say you're bad at the game or anything like that, but it's a matter of playing playing with the characters and understanding exactly what they're capable of um, at this point. Because your characters are honestly, their, their base stat levels right now are high enough that you shouldn't be struggling with level 68 enemies, if that makes sense. Because they're all level 70 at minimum, um, and they're really strong characters, and they're really strong teams, so they shouldn't struggle. Now, you might start to struggle beyond this point. Like, we're going to test this out right now. Um, like, this enemy has ice weakness, so this will actually be fine with this. And then we have lightning and wind over here, so it should be fine there as well. Yeah, we're going to try this out. So we do the same thing. This, we're going to start with Besotted because we want people to be able to heal. See how much damage her Arcana does? It's it's nuts. It's absolutely insane. Who invited you? This particular uh, um, MOC thing, right? Uh, trotters take more damage from basic attacks. Some of the Trotters at the beginning wave. Trotter takes 200% increased damage from basic attack and dot effects. When the Trotter is defeated, the enemy bleeds, blah, 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 blah. Basically, kill the Trotter. I think that was kind of a mistake, right? Let's see what happens here. Mood for another beating. Didn't hurt. 
Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Slide is pretty good. It's a good heal. May as well kill them all. That is a pretty good heal. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate is dead. Step up, let's see it. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. How's this tip? Saving me won't do you any favor. Just slide it again, everybody. My friend? I actually kind of like uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna um, healing on dealing damage is great it is I'm gonna be honest um, I have come around a little bit on Gallagher I've been using him a little bit on my free to play account um, I have definitely come around a little bit on, uh, on Gallagher. But you also notice in this fight, everybody's health being under 3,000 kind of gives you that uh, moment of like, oh no, oh no, if only I had a couple more hundred, or, you know, that kind of thing. So this is the reason like 3,000 is like your your base minimum for like HP and things along those lines. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. Yeah, this is a scenario where you definitely, because you're missing certain traces on characters, it'll definitely start, you'll start to feel it. Because usually when a turn starts, um, um, she will apply, or she has chances to apply Arcana, I think, if you have her level 70 trace, which I don't think you have on Black Swan at the moment. So, this is what I mean where the things will start to struggle. Let's see. Sanction mode to go off because I always gonna summon things, and the reason I was waiting for that is because then I can cast her ultimate and break from it, right. So, again, a lot of it also is how you pilot the team, and that was actually a mistake because I should have waited until afterwards. Let's use his enhanced basic attack over here. Yeah, I should heal her. Black Swan might die. This might be, uh, my, I might have made a mistake, but it's okay. Guess what I'm about to do. I like how it's so off the screen. <laughs> Interpreted. Yep. So that's the that is the one I miss I misplayed that. That's me misplaying. I'm gonna restart that. We'll try that one more time. I'll be taking point. Make a wish. Um actually not gonna start with a side attack. So we get the max attack once for damage purposes. Just in time. Yeah, all their HPs being so uh, so low is uh, is a problem. That's like your biggest Stand issue is rapid ability, right? Because you need a little bit of you need a little HP. You need to be able to take a hit, a couple of hits, in fact, really.
Good times, never last. Time to say bye. Boom. And this trotter really helps this um, say bye to breathing. This team. No manners, huh? Relax. <laughs> Time to mix things up. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. May as well kill them all. <laughs> I'm holding off to the next round. Ordained by those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Fly like a good friend. <laughs> Indulge yourselves. Memories are at beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Step up, let's see it. Stand still. Probably should have waited for a trotter to fill up. It's okay. The hand jump quickly is sometimes the best way to go about it. Destiny isn't chosen. Thanks. You're too good today. <laughs> nice. Six stacks. That was good. It's all about, again, it also comes down to, like I said, piloting the team correctly and, like, having the having the patience, I guess, sometimes to also think, sit back and think, what are my characters doing? How does, the, what is the enemy doing? You know, how does that, um, how do these things actually, like, help me survive? And this team, the dot team, again, I can express, especially in this, this MOC in particular, because it's still got the trotter bonus, you're getting extra dots, which means Kafka's doing even more damage, right? With all the Arcana defense shred Storm and all sort of stuff, like if they had the proper relics, this this would be it would just be a joke. I have gotten more zero cycles with that team than any other team. <laughs> I'm with you. Stay. Do we still have cool. paper hands? Nice opener. Ready for another? We'll focus here. Hold off for a second so we can get Pella's ultimate up. Honestly, it may even be worth it in that moment to use um, to use her skill just to get that initial ultimate at the beginning of the immediately, right? Oh, this should be It's good I could have, but there was no point. It was gonna die. He did buff up though, you're correct. The stack go to the highest stack one if there's multiple targets. Time to make a decision. Um we have enough skill, that's why you have skill. Leave it to me. Oblivion. This ends here. In the name of left will, forged in ice, never falters. Ready for another? Enemy data secure. Network festival. Time for a good old counter attack. You know nothing of will survive or be destroyed. There, you go. there is no other choice. I weep for the departed. That's pretty much as optimal as you could get at that point. Like, just absolutely destroyed. Oh, 
Well, it's ultimate was possibly overkill. I probably could have saved it for uh, uh, this round. Um, because I don't think you actually have his increased damage to uh, uh, targets after they get ulted. I'm not sure. Um, kind of want to use his skill here and hope we get a freeze. We did not. That's unfortunate. Well, everybody has a shield up, so we should be okay. Oh, he used his actions to summon. We're actually fine. We're totally fine then. Never mind. That's fine. Unnecessarily fine. Oh, uh, we're going to basic with him. Can't find any business. We're going to use our skill just to make sure we get it. Cool. So this should just kill. I weep for the target. Okay. There you go. You see, you see, see, you see how much better Pella like helps increase that damage by making by making sure all her defense down comes. Like forty percent defense down is huge. And then because you're running to Nihility, right? You're you're also you're also doing like incredibly good damage with that. So Yeah, I think with this you're gonna wanna do that. I think for you. Okay. I think that's gonna be the better way to go about this. I think wind is the only thing over here that works. The fire also works. Fire and wind. Okay. Fire and wind is what's gonna be able to break, bring weakness breaks down, and then she'll be able to shred through these. Storms on the horizon. I'm with you. Stay. So, by the way, Pella's initial defense down uh, on enemies is 20%. Her ultimate gives an additional 40%. I actually didn't need to do that control. I weep for the heart. It takes a fall. Leave it to me. Stand down. I'm still water to the cliff. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. Is that all? Survive or be destroyed. That's right. Also, Pearl's another 12%. So you have 60 plus 12 is 72 defense down from just Pella alone, which is insane. Okay, this is the way the speed is actually working out right now. This team's actually doing even better than I thought it would. Let's begin. Yours is E1S. Yeah, E0S as well. I weep for the departed. Take down the phone. Didn't do as much, but still killed them all. Like, I can't I can't express how good Pella Akron is as a team in Torta and Tor like other than what you see on the screen, right? Hmm. They don't look happy to see us. Make a wish. But this team I'm going to do because uh, we need Masada at the beginning because these guys are going to hit hard. These two are going to hit real hard. Yeah. 
And this is why you need that HP at the beginning, because otherwise you might just get killed before the fight even starts. You know what I'm saying? Do I have to use skills? Oh, she'll die if I don't use a skill. That's okay. Someone's gonna have to take it. Like Asta here, you would want Messenger set on her so she's giving everybody even more speed. This is actually a particularly hard MOC because these two enemies are just kind of annoying. <laughs> they are very annoying enemies. Skill point management obviously becomes really, really important. But thankfully, because of the besotted state, we're kind of okay because we're kind of healing back whatever we lose, right? Down. 
six cycles. Not bad. Or five cycles again. Not bad. There you go. See? You have, you have more. So one of the things to understand is you have more capabilities on your account than you realize. Just based on the raw power of the characters, um, you have more on your account than you realize. Thank you for the follow, and no, I have not seen it. Um, you have more on your account than you realize. here and then you're gonna have lightning and imaginary and you will not have fire but you'll have the imaginary and a, lightning. And a little bit of ice yeah yeah this will be easier yeah the dot team crushes the dinosaur exactly and Japard will be a counter for the monkey hmm. yep they don't look happy to see us make a wish found your weakness Just in time. Hello, Rav. Welcome back to the stream. Stand still. Ill fate is dead. My second, my friend. Indulge yourself. Mushroom, thank you. May as well kill them all. Good times, time to say bye. Boom. Scared yet? <laughs> Relax. Still tidings manifest. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Sub on my life accounts later for you. Oh. I appreciate it, Zeri. I appreciate it. Did you you just subbed on your own account, didn't you? Because I didn't see that sub marker there earlier. Did you? no? You already were subbed. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I appreciate whatever support you give. It, it, it it's all good. I like helping. Like this is this is the kind of stuff that I play these games for. In general, is so that I can help people do things. So uh, I appreciate those. All the support Never helps last. a lot. Time to say bye. Summoning other wings is kind of because of ish. Memories up beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Man, yeah, those mobs are terrible. Say bye to breathing. There we go. Step up, let's see ya. Indulge 
This is good. Uh, yes, the Jingle and Adventure Banners are up. He heals so much. She just healed up herself entirely with that. That's good. In the mood for another beating. Bam. There you go. Four cycles on that side. Not bad. I'm with you. Stay. Hey, Jennifer, this is rating with the party of four. Hello, hello, Henry. How are you doing, man? It's been a, been a hot minute. Hope you're at, hope you had a good stream. Welcome in, everybody from uh, Henry's stream. Hope everybody had a good one. Hope you enjoyed. Had a good time. Welcome over. We're just uh, right now. I'm currently uh, actually doing a sort of pseudo account review slash account fixing for uh, one of my viewers. So one of my subscribers. So did some truck truck. Some truck truck. Oh, I'm confused. The truck simulator? <laughs> what? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, straight up. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly what you just instructed, Litter. Yes. <laughs> Stand down. This ends here. So for the optimal combo here, we wait for, um, we're going to wait for, uh, Pella's turn again. Enemy targets detected. Enemy data secure. Network accessible. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep for the department. It takes so far. But it's dead. <laughs> Why wait for the enemy to kill itself when I could just kill it now? <laughs> but yes, that would probably be more optimal wait for the monkey to get the defense down and stuff along those lines. Or just kill the enemy now and be done with it. I hope I hope Zeri that by watching this this is actually showing you maybe how to pilot the teams as well. Um and and you know all that jazz. Cause I didn't really because here's the thing. I may I didn't change anything on your Acheron. I rebuilt your Pella and I rebuilt your Welt. But I did not change anything on Asta, Gallagher, Black Swan, or Kafka. Right? They are doing just fine with what they've got right now. Yeah, they could be better. And it's going to, I mean, obviously I'm going to hit a point where it's not going to go as well as we're going right now. Um, but yeah. By the way, real quick, just on the side, um, uh, I hope the stream quality is good and okay. Cause I changed some settings. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go more toward Twitch's. Uh, settings they they tell you to use Let's see if that actually helps not that I've had problem necessarily a lot of problems in the past or anything it's just I'm changing things up a little bit there we go win win lightning uh, but Kakolia so we don't never face Kakolia with dot characters it's just it's possible it's just really annoying it's really annoying it's just really annoying you will regret everything in your life 
if you do this. <laughs> I promise you, you will regret all of it. It's terrible. Okay. Um, let's see here. Memory. Yeah, we're gonna keep the teams like this. Then we get that monkey and ice and fire. Yeah, we're good. We keep going. We keep going until we keep going literally until we fail. Hmm. This is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep going until they I fail. Look happy to see us. Make a wish. Which I do expect to start failing a little bit harder here as we, uh, we get up here. The ape might one tap someone. Yeah, that's gonna be our issue here. Is the ape is very po it's very possible for the ape to one tap someone or someone to die before the ape even gets a turn. <laughs> Man, it's also possible. Um. It all depends on who I skill I use last as well. But did about 1500 HP, so now I know. It's gonna get buffed up as well. That's gonna be the biggest problem. Just kill it before it kills you, true. Uh, a, a it is a universal principle. Just kill them before they kill you. That is the universal principle. This is true. What do you want to know? It's currently on Kafka. She will survive the hit. I think. I would. In the mood for another beating? You're too good to me. Yeah, and he'll take this hit. It'll be fine. Unfortunately, he's stacking up. But now, if we can just kill him, that would be great. Some people die when they're killed. True. Truly a groundbreaking, uh, groundbreaking piece of wisdom. That's right. When he casts his ult, he gets his action. I mean, that's what I about. Oh, he lost all the buffs. No. No. And this is Gusto. Yeah, no, he's no longer. Oh, he does have the damage trees. You just can't see it. Damn it. She survived the last one. We're gonna go, we're gonna go with her. She'll, she'll survive this one. I believe. I believe. I believe. I probably actually could have just killed him if I used her ult, but I was saving it. Now he's dead. Pretty. The problem is, <laughs> there's gonna be another one. Good times. Time to save us. Not rem remember, unless you, unless you're Anos Voldigold, then then killing you doesn't matter. You you can't be killed. You think killing me would kill me? That's ridiculous. Do you think stopping time would stop me? No. Unless you're Anos Voldigold, then 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 it doesn't matter at all. Um, it is currently on Black Swan. I kind of want to leave it on Black Swan, but he's going to get a turn too. But there's no skill points there. Uh -huh. so. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. 
Thanks. You're too good to me. Let's see what happens here. This is definitely a, uh, a problematic scenario. Let's just put it out to put it simply. Stand still. Destiny isn't chosen. Um, kind of need to switch it over to her, I think. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah, you got one shot. Yeah, okay, so this is where we're this is this is where you need enough damage to be able to get through it. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna frustrate myself trying to get through that. So that's a that's a scenario where you just need enough damage to get through it. We've reached the point where um you're gonna start running into difficulty. So that's that's MOC one through four. You know what this means though? Is that from now on, no matter what, Zeri, you will always start at five until you get up to seven, basically. Um, once you've cleared up to seven, every new MOC will start you at uh, wherever you cleared before. So, in fact, this one just did it because I just opened it. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay. I That's good to know. If you clear another one up to a certain point, it'll automatically open up the other ones, too. Oh. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Interesting. So on this side, let's see here. Let's see here. Lightning and ice would obviously be there. You're still going to have to do them for the rewards. No. Because if you clear this one, you'll get all the previous. Clear this stage with three stars to obtain all the rewards in the previous stages. Incorrect. You only have to do this one. Honestly, I'm going to put the dot team on this side, I think. Here I go here. Give it a shot. What is the MOC after every attack launched by an ally? Applies one stack of memory imprint to all enemies. Enemies memory imprint receive for some damage. Okay. Hmm. They don't look happy. To Make see a wish. The biggest problem with this team, by the way, is that is that you have to you kind of have to decide which uh, which memory you want to use or which technique no, memory which technique you want to use. Uh, because they they have uh, three of them have attack techniques, right? Battle engaging techniques. Attribution will find you. Ooh, that's a, that is a dangerous boy. What do you want to know? Maybe it would have been better to swap those sides. Good times. Time to say bye. I can. It's because it does a quite a, a decent amount of damage, and you can't really kill it until. Yeah, no, that's, no, that's a that's a real problem. That's a problem. We're gonna swap the teams. We're actually gonna swap the teams. Storms on the. I'm with you. Stay. Let's begin. Good. We have the upper hand. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste all this on this turn. Enemy Never falters! Ready for another? Is that all? Right, there's the defense reduction, there's this, and then this. And it's over. It's over. It's Jover. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. Maybe not, maybe not Jover Jover, but you know, it's all. Mostly Jover. Now it's Jover. Okay, almost Jover. Now it's Jover. And I got you an achievement. Let's go. Two cycles. That team. So here's the thing. Again, Zeri, your team is strong. Like, like, like you can have improvements, but as long as you're piloting the team the 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 best way you pot like you most optimally as possible like you're actually like focus on piloting the team you can get through things like auto battle is good um uh but obviously manual play is is better and with the chain and, and i think a lot of the thing a lot of the reason it's working so well is the changes to pella that we did and the changes to welt so that they are more effective thus allowing sparkle to or thus allowing acheron to, to like go full out with that team. Make a wish. Does that hurt? I'm gonna start with this. Just in time. Relax. What do you want to do? face to say. In the mood for another beat, it's time to mix things up. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. A miracle. Say bye, Breeden. Like a good my friend. The e I think the ER yeah. robot really changes did that. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely the ER robot. I can tell you that right now. Um, definitely helped a lot. And then, um, time to and then getting your effect hit rate to a proper amount so that you, so that all her debuffs will hit. Because you gotta understand that six, like even forty percent, forty, let's say fifty-two with the light cone, fifty-two percent defense down is 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 not the same as fifty percent more damage in, in in context. Okay, reducing an enemy's defense just gets exponentially like more damage. All right, because we're talking about stripping all of their like their defense stat basically. It is, I wish I had the chart, I don't have the charts for all this, but like, defense shred or, or defense ignore is the most powerful damage um, increaser you can get in the game. It, it just, it, it's a lot. I, I will tell you from Fieldscraft, it's a lot. And then you can find the numbers out there somewhere else. <laughs> And it all goes down to proper building, so it's it's better. It's good that you asked for help when uh, uh, with figuring it out, and I'm glad I was able to get on your account to be able to actually help. Because it can be kind of it can be. I can understand the frustration of like I'm doing all. I think I'm doing all the things right. I'm doing all this. I have this character doing this, but what what is not? Uh, you kept attack. They attacked her three times in a row. Game three times in a row. Three times in a row. Fuck you. Seriously. They don't look happy to see us. Make a wish. We'll start with the side of Just in time. Who will it be? Ill fate to say. Relax. 
Senpai has just subscribed Prime. Thank you very much, Senpai. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, that was your that was your one. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Larry. I appreciate that. Thank you. Destiny isn't Um I would like to point out that um The, these, are, these are scenarios, by the way, just another little piece here. These are scenarios where you do want to level, like you can level Black Swan's basic attack, right? Because I'm using her basic attack quite a bit in order to save on skill points. And since her basic attack not only generates a skill point, but has a chance of applying more of her Arcana stacks based on the level of the, skill, the, the basic attack, there is definitely reason to level her May basic well attack. Whereas with Kafka, you want to be skilling every turn. You don't necessarily need to be skilling every turn with Black Swan, which will allow you to rotate into skilling for Osto or your other support character when, uh, whenever uh, Black Swan is instead using her basic attack. I actually should have waited on that. Because he's going to summon this next turn, I'm pretty sure. Say bye to breathing. Everything is on star. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Good times. Time to And it's the same reason why you might want to level like um Austin's basic attack, because while the level doesn't matter for the effect of the burn, it you know, you are gonna be using it now in the quarterback. All right. This is going to be kind of difficult because we don't really have anything but the fire for here and wind on both. So in some ways, Kafka might become the skill generator. Yeah. Stand still. Think like Man 4 is an easy choice to make, even if you haven't leveled the other abilities, given how easy it is to get through that. It's true. Say bye to breathing. Memories beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Good times. Time to say bye. Someone's probably gonna die here. No. Step up, let's see ya. Indulge yourself. Cool. In the mood for another beating? Oh, I'm gonna break him. Awesome. Destiny is apparent. Cool. And he'll jump on him. Cool. I don't know why I said that. I should have said that. I'm not sure why. Hey, you're something. He should survive this. 
And now he's tired. Kill him. Hopefully. Kill himself. What do you want to know? Say bye to breathing. That's what I was waiting for. Stand still. I know he's gonna summon again. See, again, about playing the team comp, understanding like, okay, I'm gonna kill them here. He's definitely going to summon again, so we can do we can do this now, and then I can do this, and like just always trying to think uh, think like two or three turns ahead of like your actions and your skill points is also incredibly important when you're. Um, uh, uh, especially if you if you can't over level the content, right? If you're not over level or over investing or wailing through the content, you do have to stop and like think a little bit more about how to get your team through it because it is possible. And this is one of the things that like I miss out on because I'm I am a good jigga whale on my main account, right? All my characters on my main account are so built that I don't have to think anymore a lot of the time when I'm going into these scenarios. And if I do, it's probably because I just built a stupid team. Um, so, um, yeah, but it is possible. You just have to work a little harder at it, basically. You gotta work a little harder in-game than you do out-of-game, basically. Thankfully, with the way this team is set up, too, there's enough, there's enough AoE that we are killing the side targets, the, the, the little rap, the, the dudes that are helping us remove his healing constantly, right? We're not having to deal with that shit, right? Because this boss doesn't actually do a lot of damage. He just usually can out-sustain you effectively. So while it did take a little longer, No, you... There goes the three star. Damn it. That's so, that is so annoying. We literally are at the end. Gonna get the three star. He's like, double tap, double tap. Would have been Joe for a 20 cycle anyways, right there. Actually, no, because you have to remember that it doesn't count down. It doesn't actually go to night. It doesn't actually consider it 19 until it says 18. Remember, I'm technically on the 21st round. Going down to 19 would have made it the 20th round. So a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people don't really understand how the cycles work in that context. Is that until it actually counts down one more, it doesn't actually go down one. So I'm actually fine in that terms. That's why I'm. That's why I'm actually irritated because we had it exactly on 10, and this bitch is gonna make it more difficult. Because as soon as the turn went over, he was dead. So see, 21. So you always have to remember that whatever number it says, technically you're on one higher cycle than that, which is why a zero cycle is 30. Oh. That pisses me off. I'm not gonna lie, that actually kind of pissed me off at the end. That's so stupid. Uh, because in order to get all the rewards prior to it, you have to get that three star. Let's look at Asta. Let's look at Asta real quick. Let's see. Asta's relics aren't even leveled up. That's why she's dying. That's why people are dying. Let's just level up some relics real quick. Let's just let's see what we got in here. What do you got in here? She likes break effect. She also likes energy. She does break a lot. She also likes speed. Let's see if we can't, you know, finagle her into something crazy good.
Perfect. 2600. 2600 HP and 1400 defense gives her quite a bit of stats in terms of like just being able to survive. Asa's most important abilities are her obviously her ultimate and this. You can get some more of these. Let's look at Gallagher. Even taking relics up, you know, so what you see what you see. If you see the pages, what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of taking relics to like six, right, to get the raw stats that are on their gear, right? Two rolls and some raw stat. That's it. Two rolls and some raw stat. That's all it takes. This has speed, HP, and defense. I'll keep that actually. It's good. The damage is whatever. We're just looking for some raw stat. That's it. Speed would be preferable here. She has the other speed boots. We have more speed boots. She has more speed boots. Okay, that's fine. Take like the raw stat, but that's on it. And the thing is, you can all, like, later on when you actually have good pieces, you just take these and throw them into those pieces, right? Like, as you replace them, etc. Um, that's actually good for him. Though, he probably... How much does his ultimate cost? 110. He might want an energy recharge for as well. Let me check the bright one. Let's see what they say. Like I could definitely see him getting away with break effect. Yeah, energy recharge. Most that's the thing. Characters who rely on their ultimate, you just really want that that energy recharge because you want his ultimate up as often as possible. And without his um, you have all of his, wow, you actually have him super geared too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, energy recharge. Let's find one of those, like, several energy recharge ropes that you have. That you should keep all of them and use all of them. Oh, this one has speed on it. This one has break effect and defense on it. We'll go with we'll, since we're not really worried about speed at this exact moment. We'll go ahead and just go ahead and grab the the break effect one on there and see what we get. Cool. That means his healing will be higher. Means he'll be tankier. This one we're gonna take all the way because again, there's nothing wrong with investing in energy recharge ropes. You will you will never regret investing into an energy recharge rope. And this one's actually pretty good for him now. Yeah, the 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 again, stats before sets. It just stats before sets. You could literally farm like here's the crazy part. You could farm the uh, musketeer and healing dungeon. You could farm the 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 diver set. You could farm the same place forever. Not worrying about sets on almost any character. So long as the main and sub stats ended up being good, it does not matter. It really, it really does not matter. And I think today is a great example of that. It just does not matter. Effect res, let's see. I know we went through a lot of your resources, frankly, leveling relics that are not, like, crazy good or anything along those lines. However, you will eventually be able to throw these into other things, and you'll collect more in time. Now look at his HP. 3,769. Absolutely insane. What relics do you have them on? They're leveled up. I step, you've got to have a lightning one in here somewhere. There's no way. There's no way you don't have another lightning one in here somewhere. And I know they don't, again, stats before sets in this scenario, right? This is not doing anything for her. At least the lightning damage with some speed and effect hit rate will do something for her. The sub, the sub stats don't matter.
So let's activate right on it and give her a little bit more of what she needs. That's fine, this is worth. Would have been nice if that had rolled like speed on it, that would have been cool. That's cool too. Speed, that's actually pretty good. Um, oh, she's she's just she is like 0.2% short of needing what she needs. That's actually fine because, like, um, this is this is where kind of you kind of need this in order to make it fully back, fully, fully there, anyways. So cool. Um, for her, you actually want. Affect their rate, and you have one right here. Nope. It would be preferable to have speed, but if you don't have any, that's fine as well. And you do have speed on this set. Let's, this has speed, critical break right now. Speed and attack percent. Attack percent is your best friend. A little bit of speed never hurt anybody. Um, I'm actually going to lock those because you don't want to like, keep them. Wow. Okay, so these boots, <laughs> these boots, they may not be very good for her, but they are going to be really good for any other attack based it's crit, crit rate character, okay? This is, these are now your best speed elite boots that you have in like at all, period. <laughs> These actually rolled really well. <laughs> like I kind of, I kind of, I'm gonna max them out because I want, I want to see. Even if it rolls like the flat attack, it's still like there's nothing but positive. That's unfortunate. I spoke too soon, but it's unfortunate. But at the same time, they're still like really good as like starter piece pieces. Like I would never get rid of these. These are like, oh, I got a new DPS. Let's throw some speed boots with attack percent and crit rate and damage on them. Whatever. They at least have all positive stats. So that's funny though. That is funny. Okay, you don't care about the substats on this. This you're just you're just wanting this because you want the effect hit rate on it because she gets most best boots I've ever seen. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> it would be really nice if this would roll roll attack percent. Wow, avoided attack percent every time. Whatever. It's actually got a shit ton of attack percent on it. We'll switch to that. That's fine. Ooh, no, this is even better. It's got a little bit of speed on it. Maybe the attack percent. Uh, attack percent is probably better. It's something I don't have to level. And that gives you the two piece on this, which is fine. Oh, this is better. It has effect res on it. This is attack percent on it. Do you have another one that's better? Attack percent effect hit rate. And speed. Some more speed. Mm, flat defense. And flat defense. Okay, well, fine. Fuck you. It's fine. You got the attack from it. That's mainly what you're wanting is the main stat and the other little substats on that, right? That's mainly what you're looking for. So she now says a 2700 attack, a 2700 defense, a little HP, uh, 1800 attack, that 121 speed marker that I talked about before that you're looking for. Um, and her effect hit rate is now 60, right? Which is super good. Um, because, oh, you don't have, the, you don't even have this trace yet. Oh no, no, curses. <laughs> Uh, you're not translating into so you have so you have your your so your ceiling right now is so high on your account. You have so much potential in your account right now. It's just a matter of like going just that little bit further into each character, right? Taking them to that that seventy out of eighty marker because for, so here's the thing: to get these traces, you just have to ascend them. You don't even have to take them to eighty, right? You just have to ascend her to seventy out of eighty. 
and she will. You can you can take this trace and gain a shit ton of damage. Over time, obviously, because it's not like super high right now. But yes. And by having that more effect at rate, you're more likely to actually land all your debuff stuff. So. I mean, it's to do 20% increased damage, and then her skill is the 100% base chance with 60% effective rate. You're going to be landing this all the time, which means your Arcana uh, with the 56 base chance. This is why you need so much effective rate, because it's such a low base chance uh, to actually land the Arcana. But you're prob we're probably going to do a lot more damage already. I can just tell you that right now. That's what's going to happen. So these four characters, like these eight characters are the ones that I would focus on right now because with the way this team works, right, the way this team works, you don't you don't really have to worry about enemy weakness too much and they, they cover three weaknesses, right? Ice, imaginary, and lightning. Imaginary being very, very common and then Acheron doesn't care about weakness because her ultimate ignores that. This team covers fire, wind, and lightning, which again, also uh, very common combinations, fire, and all that other stuff. And so you can just swap around between these two teams. I understand that you have Sparkle over here and some of these other characters and stuff like that, but I would focus, I would focus, I would prioritize getting the traces and the levels on these, these eight characters for the time being um, with Locha being a possible replacement for Gallagher, but you've already invested so much into Gallagher. I'm actually really confused why you pulled for Locha because, um, uh, you got Gallagher, right? And you got him at like E5 and fully invested. Um, I'm actually confused as to why you actually ended up pulling for Locha. It's too late now. You can't put it, can't put him back in. It's whatever. So you might as well try to take get use of him. Um, but I would definitely not worry about it. And frankly, the biggest replacement, right, is when you're using an ice, when you need ice as a DPS, you replace Acheron with Jing Liu and then you replace Welt with Sparkle. So you can work on Sparkle as well, is what I would say. And then Tingya. And then your team is like, then your teams will be like core. Like those are the characters that you can work on. And what's crazy about, so what's nice about this, right, is Japard is the only one in here who doesn't share a relic like setup. And what I mean by that is that um, you can use the, um, you can use this one on her, on her, and on her. Or on him, right? You can use them all on this. And guess what? You can also, you, you can technically, technically use them on her and her as well because they're also going to be two Nihility characters together. So they'll get the attack percent. Now, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but it is an option. Like, Nihility ends up being, like, your account is very Nihility based. Um, and then, um, oh, she has, what? What is, give me a win. I understand that you have, I know why you have this on her, but let's, let's see if we can find a wind one. Win one with some some something good on it, like attack percent or speed and effective rate or something along those lines. Effective rate break effect. The attack percent is actually more important right now. This one has break effect. This one has attack percent. This one has attack percent defense. This one has attack percent speed to HP. This is flat attack. We'll go with this because this right now, actually, this is actually probably is giving you more attack. So with your modules, your modulators, the ones that you can where you can pick the main stat, I would wait. I would just hold on to those until you need that last piece. And what I mean by that is that once you're done farming, what you're once you're like 90% of the way done farming for a character, like you've got their glove, you've got their you've got their headpiece, you've got yeah, and that's what you've got, right? And then you have like at least two of these four, these four parts, right? Two out of these four parts, like set in stone, like you have the main stat you want for them. That's when you use the modular to pick the other one that you don't have yet, right? While you're farming for that last piece. Um, I would not, I would not do it ahead of time because oftentimes what ends up happening is you, you want to use it to either get an ER rope, which are very rare. It's the rarest thing in the game or speed boots, which is the second rarest thing in the game, right? That is, that is your goal. And do not get rid of attack percent, uh, Attack percent, HP percent, or defense percent, like orbs, because they're super universal. Like you can move them from character to character as you find actual upgrades for them based on like substats and things along those lines, right? So that's like another big thing is people oftentimes will get rid of those pieces when they actually have a lot of value. Um, 
I don't know if the attack percent from this is actually worth it. The attack percent from this is in combination with that. So I'm going to lock this and level this up. At least to like, I don't know. Let's, go in, let's say 9. So you get more attack percent on there. And you get more break effect. She is going to break. So now she has 2,000 attack, right? Now we're, now, we're, now, we're getting, now we're getting good numbers here. All right, let's try this again. Um, shouldn't be a problem. Storms on the horizon. Again, raw stats are so important. And remember, a lot of what I do, if you're watching this on YouTube later or something along those lines, a lot of what I do is feels crafting. If it feels good, it's probably good. Did you clear the content? It's probably good. Let's begin. Stand down. Enemy data secure net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It takes off all. Right now, with the way this team is set up, like, Pella is all you need to really build up stacks for Akron, especially because you have her light cone. Um, so right now, Wealth is mostly a skill bot. And there to, to get the Nihility, you know, that, that, that second Nihility proc. Enemy targets detected. Leave it to me. Um, Another journey becomes still waters of living. Got him. Ready for another? Cool. Nothing of the way this, this, this. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Remember, at level, at level 70 out of 80, Wealth can take the trace that allows, that gives 10% more damage to those affected by his ultimate power. Let's begin. Free will, or was it destined for oblivion? This ends here. Three cycles. Hmm. They don't look happy to see us. Seven cycles to do this. Make a wish. We're gonna start out with a sodded again. Watch yourself. <laughs> Just in time. Ill tidings manifest. Huh? Stand still. We're all, I'm already seeing more Arcana procs, by the way. Memories are ever beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Oh, almost killed, <laughs> almost killed Gop on accident. That was not good. Thankfully, Posada is still out there, so we're good. That was that was a misplay on my part. And besides, it's gone now. Let's go. What do you want to know? Ill fate is there. No manic. 
No skill points going into this round. I did not play that first round very well. <laughs> what do you want to know? Memories are beneath the water, lies an endless abyss. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. You can take the hit. Who invited you? <laughs> In the mood for another beating? <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> that guy is really pissing me off because he keeps going for the low target every time. Every fucking time. This is motherfucker. I know I can do this, and I would like to point out again that even I, I, the amazing Agito, can fail. Chosen. 
memories beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Everything is ready. Oh, Star, give these trailblazers your blessing. Nice. May as well kill them all. In the mood for another. <laughs> Stand still. What do you want to know? Dive. Time nice. to say bye. Boom. We're good. This should this should be a clear. So long as nothing stupid happens again, this should be a clear. He said. So long as nothing stupid happens, this should be a clear. He said. With confidence. So long as nothing stupid happens, this should be a clear. Thank you. Bam. And it was two cycles faster. Clear and two cycles faster. It's pretty good. Or a cycle faster. There you go. And you get all the rewards in the previous stages. Claim these so that you don't accidentally lose them. But you know what this also means, Zeri? This also means that we got you get you get you get all those jades. You get all those jades. And you can get more. And I think that's probably where Ooh, Sam. <laughs> uh, um. Sam, 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 Sam. This team probably won't have any problems with this. This team shouldn't have any problem with this. But guess what? We now have Jing Liu pools. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Right? We now have more pools for Jing Liu, so let's go. Here she is, right here, guaranteed. After all of that work we just did, clearly she's gonna come home right here, right? We just worked we worked so hard for these three more pools. Clearly she is going to come home. Right here. Right now. Or not. Okay, fine. Damn. Interastral peace broadcast. <sighs> well, just take my thunder away. Good evening. <sighs> Welcome to an new episode of Interastral Peace. Do you want to enter? Well, this also means now that you have some priceless jewels that you can Eventually, well, you know, you don't have any Do you want to enter the forgotten? Sorry, it doesn't get for them until later. But that gets you that gets you through a, a few more. And do you still have these too that you can clear at some point? So, um, but yeah, um, I think we'll stop there on on MOC. We're gonna stop on MOC now. Let's go look at SU. So you said you haven't been able to actually clear it. You've been f farming it. No, you've been clearing it. Unlock world nine difficulty one and reach equilibrium level six. Oh, you need level six equilibrium before you can do that. Okay. I thought you said you were struggling on this. Oh, world eight.
bro, what what's going on here? How have you not how have you not cleared these? Uh, the, what? Okay. Bro. What's going on here? What's You got so many pulls left back here, buddy. Did you just not realize that there were more difficulties uh, back here? <laughs> Couldn't do it with your old team, I could lock it. I'll be honest with you. Every single one of these can be beaten by your with e with either team. Like. Yeah, just just bring just do a dot team and it's and it's over. And it's over. And you'll get jing you'll be able to you'll get you're gonna get so many pulls. You're gonna get so many pulls for all this. There's so much here. Like every single one of these can be beaten with these two. Just just run just run these two and like Asta or even Pella and Gallagher and you're just done. Acheron SU speedruns, yeah, or or yeah, or just do do the Acheron team. That works too. Run Japard, run Gallagher, run whatever you want. Honestly, you'll be fine. You have the like at this phase, you have the answer to every single thing in here. So, I need your E zero. That's fun. Gonna have to convince my wife that this character is a need. Good luck. Good luck getting 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 the getting the the credit card no jutsu free from your wife. Um, it's forbidden technique. I understand, but uh, good luck. Do you want me to do any of these? Or do you want to just leave them for your to now that you have an idea? Beth pass for Acheron. Um, either iridition or hunt. F uh, elation can work too, but you have to get the. Uh, the elation that turn the the buff that turns your ultimate into a fall attack. So I don't know if you have access to iridition or not. Yeah, you don't have access to iridition or not yet. But hunt then. You can do them. Okay. Um. Then yeah, I would say the hunt is probably your best bet. You can run Nihility, but it really doesn't do anything for Acheron, whereas the Hunt does by giving her more turns and more crit rate and more crit damage and speed and all sorts of stuff. You don't understand it at all? It's basically, it's the same, it's the same as Swarm Disaster, the difference being that um, you, you just have to solve all of these. Destruction works as well. Here, I'll, I'll, here, I'll do it since I'm not gonna do your regulars. I'll do, I'll do a, I'll do one of these. You basically, so you pick a, you pick a dice, right? Read what it does. Or here, let's start a squish. Cognition range. Oh, this is not even high difficulty. This is 79. Oh, this should be fine. You have access to propagation and erudition in here. So for you, let's go ahead and do erudition. So it starts out like this, right? You, you. You start, you don't get that mode either. What mode? The dice? <laughs> or, or swarm? <laughs> oh, you haven't done swarm either, okay. So I will run. I will run through them real quick as like a tutorial, a visual tutorial of Swarm. So Swarm is super straightforward. Super super straightforward. Um, honestly, we may need to run two defensive characters. 
So the thing is, actually not, not with this, we shouldn't actually. Um, so the thing with Swarm Disaster is that on the lower difficulties, you can get away with like one sustain, but you're probably gonna end up wanting to use two later on. I'm just gonna say that right now. So these dice will be needed to discover you check here, they unlock requirements. So you can see the requirements. Unlocks trigger planner disarray in civil universe swarm disaster. We'll see after challenges interrupted in civil universe disaster. Unlocks every retaining a total of 1,000 common fragments in civilian. Yeah, like, this is pretty straightforward. It tells you how to unlock each path. So for now, since you don't have any of the paths, one of the best paths you can always do is you can always go remembrance. Help unlock the dimension effect for the audience dice. Go check for yourself. These are the effects that you get, and I'll explain that more in a moment. We will go ahead, and for the purposes of this, we will go ahead and just use destruction, um, since that's like the the most straightforward one, perhaps. No, we're gonna use hunt. We'll use hunt. Hunt is actually even more straightforward. So, the hunt. You pick the hunt path, right? The hunt. Defeating trotters will earn extra benefits. Initial effect: When the first or second plane begins, generate one extra blessing trotter and one curio trotter. Passive effect. Passive effect. Every time allies move to a domain, all domains currently with Blessing Trotter or Curio Trotter Beacon will swap their positions within an adjacent domain. For every Trotter defeated in a battle, all allies' crit damage increases by 30%. So your goal at this point is to find places that have Trotters. Right? That is your goal. So it loads up. First plane. Due to the path effect, additionally generates one Blessing Trotter and one Curio Trotter Beacon. Bam, bam, right there. All right, so you see there's three Trotter Beacons here. You want to try to hit at least two of them, right? You start here, you go across. At the beginning, just like with any one, you pick whatever you want. I always usually go with Curios because the Curios are nice. Um, this is super good, actually, because it'll add Lightning Weakness or Ice Weakness to things for us, or Fire Weakness for us. But you have Acheron, so... Bam. I don't even have to fight. Um, when picking buffs... Um, I mean, Simulant Universe is pretty... That, that part of Simulant Universe is pretty straightforward. Sure. Speed, because you're on Hunt. Same, same thing, basically. You're doing the same thing you would in regular Simulated Universe at that point. Acheron is such a godsend for doing SU, yes. Unfortunately, oh, that's really good. I know this doesn't work for Acheron, but it works for everybody else. New glare. Get here. Dice effect can move to any domain in the next three columns during the current movement. Sure. We're going to move here, though, Doesn't so it doesn't really matter. We're going to move here to the Curio Trotter. You have a countdown up here. Path propagation has been activated and the Curio Sealing Wax propagation has been obtained. Oh, okay. This is a random this is a random event that happens sometimes. So it's really not it's really not that point. Point. It really doesn't matter at this point. Swarm Disaster is usually done better with, with this kind of character though. Green force. The gleam of old Um I'm gonna choose this one because it's new for you, which means you'll get some Star Rail, some Star Jade. Um, but generally, I would take this one for sure. I would take this one over this one. So again. You need to the next three columns, that's good. Which means we can get over here if we want, which we do. We do. Storms on the horizon. Now remember, Acheron's skill does not, uh, a talent or technique does not work on elite enemies. Do we still have the upper hand? Enemy data search net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Leave it to me. Step up, let's see it. You know nothing. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. That's pretty good damage. Free will 
Or was it the dust for oblivion? Enemy targets to tank ready for another. There we go. Uh, when choosing blessings, after winning a battle, increase the number of free blessings resets by one. Upon any battle, all the allies will nullify all damage received for Dot until after the effect. That's actually pretty good. That'll be pretty good. Uh, after a character provides healing, there is a 45% fixed chance to recover a skill point. That's actually really good, especially with characters like Locha and uh, Gallagher. Because they're constantly uh, providing uh, healing effects. Ooh, can move to a domain in the closest column that contains either a Blessing Trotter or a Beacon Trotter. Cool. You can also re-roll these into something else, but if you get the gold one, generally you're going to want to take it. So you can jump up here, go to this one. Now you see that um, you see that you're basically also following, like doing these in order to unlock more stuff, right? Like this first thing, obtain 750 fragments and then you'll unlock the next two and then you can figure out how, what to do those and then this and this. Basically, as you unlock things, you go down the tree. And then the side one, there's a specific thing for each of the side ones, which I'll explain in a moment as well. Um, This is actually pretty good for Pella because a lot of ice weakness to enemies. This is pretty good for everybody except for her. This is really good. This is like one. Well, this is the best card in the game. <laughs> Other than the uh, dissociation one. Start a combat for this time. All ally speed increase by 50% for three turns. Cool. So every time you defeat a trotter, right? One, two, three trotters, we gained 30% crit damage, which means we have a total of 90% extra crit damage to all of our characters, right? So it's really, really straightforward. The goal is to get here without losing too much on your countdown, right? Because you only have so long to get to the other side. When you get to here, Make sure you read. While battling Swarm Truce to incomplete third plane's boss, which is the last boss in the last area, it will have fire weakness. Or it will have lightning weakness. In this scenario, honestly, you may want to do fire weakness on the boss, but I would just give him lightning weakness just so Akron does more. Um, but then again, we have, we have more elements that beat this boss. So let's just do this. That way Gallagher will be uh, reducing. Someone will be reducing more weakness break on the enemy. Basically, when we get there. Stay. So I'll go with that actually, because we actually have more things that beat this. We still have the upper hand? And and taking full advantage of that whenever you can, whenever it's possible, it is important. Leave it to stand down. Free will and still water the flip. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. 206k is not bad. Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? Enemies die, Paul gains energy. I weep for the depart. It takes a fall. Boom. I mean, not really a boom, because it's not Kafka, but you know what I'm saying. Um, in this scenario, um, I would reset and see what you get. In this scenario, we're running Hunt. Uh, this is pretty good. Just freezing the enemy is pretty good. Oh, there it is. Plus a speed and some crit rates. 
Um, on the hunt one, you want the one that'll give an extra turn to whoever has the highest attack, which in this case is Acheron. Now, remember those side things I was talking about earlier in the tree? This is where this is where those get. You basically have to get 20 of each each path in order to unlock it, basically. So you have to select it 20 times, which means you have to run roughly, you know, depending on how many paths, you know, you have to run a, swim, a swarm disaster a lot. Or, yeah. So we lock those. But you select this, I think, twice, three times every run. So, yeah. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, though. Just keep in mind which ones you have picked, basically. Up till you're done, more or less. Though it doesn't really matter, you don't need that to unlock paths. What you need is to complete it to unlock paths with every path. Um, and so now we're in plane two, which is a bigger plane, and you have to get all the way across to here, fighting what you can as you go, right? There's a curio here, there's a trotter here, there's a trotter here, there's a trotter here, right? When you unlock it, you get jades, correct. For the purposes of um, I just want to grab her. So I'm gonna grab Kafka as well. Otherwise, it's the same as regular simulator universe, right? Can move to any domain in the next three columns. Cool. Uh, we're gonna jump over here to this uh, blessing trotter. Now the swarm enemies are kind of annoying because they kind of have to die at the same time because they do multiply. We took so much damage during that fight. Fucking destruction trotters are the worst. <laughs> they are the absolute fucking worst. I'm gonna take this one so we get that, that shield. It can be tedious, yes. Thankfully, we have Akron, so. Here to a reward domain. And then hope we get lucky and it's not like some weird fight. Universal. Ooh, this is pretty good. Destiny's Revelation. Reroll that. So, a lot of people like to take this damage one. I prefer this one so you get two procs of the advance forward. But amazing if you got Rame, it would have it would have been. It would have been. Another blessing trotter. Hopefully we don't die right at the beginning, that's my biggest worry now. Stay. The destruction trotter again. Yay. God damn it. We're gonna die. 
we're gonna die. We're literally gonna die. To the, it's another destruction shot. We're gonna, like, the team is literally dead. We can't attack. We're literally gonna die. It's so stupid. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, I hate it so much. Time to make a decision. <gasps> At least we have shields. We have shields on, so I guess I guess we're okay. But someone is going to die for sure. Enemy data net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep. Pella died. <laughs> nope. Why didn't we do that? We're dead. No, we're dead. There was no way we were going to survive from that. Unless Welt can kill right here. Nope. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Fucking destruction trotters! <laughs> So yeah, don't do what I just did and just slam your head into a destruction trotter because that shit sucks. <laughs> so yeah, basically you've got to like... Passing third plane with commuting trail points for the hunt reaches two or higher, right? This is how you block by passing second plane with commuting trail for abundance reaches fire or higher. And the commuting trail is this, right here. Which is what happens as you select, as you select them, right? And you get more bonuses, right, up to 20. And that's basically how you unlock Propagation Path in other areas. And what that also does is obviously, uh, as you go through, it gives you jades. And more jades. And well, these, but more jades. And then um, you'll also get jades from this as well. And a, another modeling resin. So you have a lot, like... Zeri, you have a, like, if you actually, if you lock in and you play these modes, you actually have a lot of, um, of, of jades sitting in the game. You may not need to swipe, is what I'm saying. Because I don't know what your pity is now, but you may not need to swipe. You're at 43 on the pity. 46 on the pity because it's not counting the other three we just did like a few minutes ago. So you're 46 into pity. You may have enough pulls just sitting in the game to not have to swipe. So, something to think about. I think that's it, though. Unless you want me to go into Golden Gear too, but it's, it's really all the same. You just have to take some time to like, well, read it it's really straightforward actually mm. Still there, Zeri? <sighs> Is there anything else you want me to look at or anything else you need help with? Oh, you know what? I just realized I know something else. I just thought about that. I actually know exactly something else. Pure fiction. So the current pure fiction is the old Vintex. Oh, bro, come on! You can definitely clear this. There's no way. You, there's no. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to clear this. This requires physical and lightning. That's fine.
me ahead. No I'm with harm you. In trying. Do we still have the upper No, I'm gonna auto this. This is this is 100 percent auto Still waters Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Netmark festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Destined out for oblivion. A will forged in ice. This is this this brings to mind like that. Oftentimes, my best advice for you guys, try. Just throw a team together and try. And I'll tell you right now, you will find so much success. You will find so much success just kind of beating your head against it for a bit. Just give it a shot. Whatever you think might work, or whatever you've researched you think might work, give it a shot. Is it over there something? Good. Even if you don't 3-star MOC stage, you get something out of it? Exactly. There's literally no reason not to try. Even if you cleared every single level of MOC, 1 through 12 with 1 star, that's still 12 stars. That's still... That's still more materials for pulls, leveling, Credits, all that other stuff, right? Oh wow, the shatter actually counts. That's right, shatter counts for wow, Akron is so good in this one. Because she just gets constant ults because of that. I didn't even think about that. The shatter counts for her debuffs. That's funny. Pretty sure that's 40k points, yep. And then I don't know if anybody's told anybody, but, um... Blackspawn's kinda busted in pure fiction. <laughs> In case anybody was curious, uh, yeah, Black Swan's kind of kind of busted. <laughs> Especially if the enemy is obviously wind weaker. Remember, all of Black Swan's dots are technically AoE. Because the Arcana explodes. Is he not going to use it? Hmm. 
That's because nobody needs any healing, I guess. Interesting. Time to say bye. Boom. Ill face to serve. <laughs> that is interesting. Because really, I just need the damage. I don't even care about anything else. And there's your 60k points. Uh, stand still. Who will it be? Oh, star, give these trailblazers your blessing. But exactly the boards make the big more damage. Ill tidings manifest. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get the full points here, but that's okay, we already got the 60, that's all you need. Stand still. Oh my god, he used it. Seventy K points is not bad. That's pretty good. On auto, exactly. On auto at that. Which, funnily enough, that means Oh, you gotta clear the second level, okay. You know, the wind over here. Oh, they're so, they're so dead. They're so dead. Oh, man. In fact, you have a Herta that's built? Because honestly... Not really built, per se. But she does have the ice set on her. I'd probably just stick with Weld. No, we'll bring her to in there. Let's see how that goes. I just want to see how it goes. Um, yeah. I think this is an easy 60k points too. Hmm. Make they don't look happy to see us. Does that hurt? You really only need 30 on each side, which I don't think is really that too difficult. Gallagher and Locho become some of the better sustained characters for this mode because they both have ultimates that attack, um, including Fu Xuan and then also, um, I think, I think Venturing will be fine. His ultimate only attacks one target, but I think will be fine as well. Oh, 
He used his ability. Time to say bye. Boom. Kind of wasted two ultimates on a single target. But that's okay. That's okay. Here, not using uh, Black Swan skill. Skill priority is kind of important. Yeah, it's kind of wasting it on Kafka skill because right now, honestly, Black Swan skill is more important. Because it actually breaks. And then Asta's skill is completely pointless for the moment. Well, not completely pointless here, but. If you're gonna use a skill, do not use Asta's over um, Black Swans. Unfortunately, I think the Asta AI has not been updated for like honestly any any time. You really just cleanse her, bro. There's you better get that twenty. You better at least get the twenty. I swear to God. Time to say bye. You better at least get twenty so that on the other side I can get forty. Thank you. The auto kind of fucked them on this one because it used Kafka's ability more often than it used uh, Black Swans, which actually just kind of ruined the run. Well, we got the 20, so we just need 40 on this side, or 38 on this side. We can get it. We can get it. Maybe. I'm with you. Trust the auto. The auto will not let us down twice. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. Network Festival. Time for a little counter attack. Time to twirl. This big diamond. It's all yours. A will forged in ice. Then again, Welt might have still been better just because he also adds uh, debuffs, that's right. I mean, they're resetting both of these. We'll see what happens. Oh, well, there's the 30,000. That one enemy. I hate when there's like one enemy left and you just get a bunch of, a bunch of abilities wasted on that one enemy. Thank God. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Forged in ice. Never falters. Ready for another? Netmark festival. Time for a little counter attack. Time to twirl. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. There's the forty. I don't think we're gonna get all the way there, but. We might have if I had had well. No, we're already at zero, so no. I weep for the Was the third challenge? Fire, physical, lightning, lightning wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
so this is a scenario where yeah So funnily enough, Blazer doesn't have any relics. Never mind. Blazer would work really well here. May not be able to do this one as effectively. Teens are more strong enough. Well, there you go. That's. Let me redo these ones real quick, though. Let's see here. Manual quick. Hmm. They don't look happy to see us. Make a wish. Does that hurt? Nope. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. The redemption. Find your manner. <laughs> Relax. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> Attribution will find you. <laughs> Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Thank you for the follow as well, Senpai. <laughs> what a cute account! I know, right? It's such a, it's such a, such an interesting account. driving home. Ah, okay. That explains why he wasn't unable to answer me either. <laughs> I had asked if there was anything else he wanted me to do, and I got no answer. And then I was like, oh, I guess I could do pure fiction as well. That's another thing, too. Let me check that out. So here we are. Drive safe. Drive responsibly. Relax. Who invited 
invited you. Typing, but I don't think it's going through. Oh, maybe it just didn't go through. Asta being rude? Never. Never seen that happen before. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Fortunately, the trotter's gonna run away. Stand still. Oh no, we got him. Nice. So even on manual, I didn't do didn't do too much better. But that's okay. What do you want to know? Ill fate to say. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. In the mood for another beating? Hello. Relax. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Testing. All right, I actually got even a little bit less points this time. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna do better over here this time, so it's all good. Stay. I'm with you. Do we still have the upper hand? Enemy data signet marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Time for some hardship. Stand down. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I've been answering you. I wonder why you weren't answering me. Yeah, no, I hadn't. I hadn't seen. There was nothing. Nothing in the chat. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. So if you ask me any questions or answered me or anything like that, you're gonna probably have to repeat it at the time when if I, if I ask again. I'm a go go local game jingle. Thank you. The reason my messages didn't show up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Not survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Ready for another? Enemy data sick net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. In the name of Let Will, forged in ice. Never falters. <laughs> For some heart stand down. Still waters of oblivion. <laughs> Enemy data signet marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep for the departed. Been here with you this whole time, never left aside. <laughs> Another journey begins. Oblivion. Enemy targets detected. <laughs> It'll heal. Oh, this ends here. Time for some hardship. Good. Free will, or was it fate? Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. The saying, you in so much help. Ah. I try. I'll ping you when I get to know you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ready for another? Time for some more. Yeah. Looks like we couldn't get too much more out of this. The other side's got to pull a little bit more, a little bit more weight, a little bit more weight on the other side. 
and levels and characters and blah, blah, blah. But still pretty good. Still pretty good. And... Yeah, you only need to go to 60k. And here's your here's a links. Here's a links copy. There you go. Yeah, on PF you only need to hit 60k, which means each side only needs about 30. <laughs> 60k for three stars. Which means each side needs to do about 30. Why is that? Because th for, for three stars. For the three stars. All right, Ken, you have a good night. I thought it was 80K. Nope. 60. You were wrong. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, it's not. Thank God it's not 80K. No, it is. It is a 30K thing. See, there was a really common misconception when Pure Fiction first came out that a lot of people didn't really make very clear when talking about it. Um, and it's kind of unclear if you don't like totally pay attention that no, you only need 60 K you can get 40, but you only need 60 80 K is like a zero, like an 80 K is like a zero cycle in MOC. It's unnecessary. You can do it. But it's unnecessary. You only need 60, which means you only need on average 30 on each side or 20 on one and 40 on the other. So, so yeah, any, any other questions, anything else, any other questions you have for me before I get off of your account? Everyone needs some time alone. Yeah, if you, if you look right here and tells you star target, 40, 50, 60. 40, 50, 60. And it's the same, it's the same all the way over. So you just need 30 here and 30 here and you'll get 60. Or 30 here and 30 here, probably. Thank you much for all the help. No problemo. You do not owe me anything. And actually, we have another pool. We have another pool, which means right here, right now, we are going to get Jingle You in this pool here. Never mind. All right, that that's it. That's it for me. We're done here. Um, that's gonna be the end of this video for the YouTube recording. If you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, feel free to come on over to twitch.tv slash Agito Live or youtube.com slash Agito Live where I will be posting these in the future or where you're watching this right now. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, maybe consider subscribing or becoming a member. I love that stuff. It'd be great. I would love to grow my channel some more. I'd love to grow my community more. I'll have more of you that need help to come ask me for help. So, that mind, I'll see you guys next time. Later. Mm -hmm.